So I'm starting to feel like we might need some military stuff. Let's make a horseman, just to be sure. Can you give it an outline? Let me see. Age of Myth, I'm starting to be alarmed by how much of all this stuff you just seem to know. Let's see. Uh, color. Position 3D. I don't know. I don't really still have to see how to do it, man. At least that's a little less offensive. Choose research. Civil service? We gotta get our white lions. Okay, so down here, we're still at zero. Let's get a shrine, and then after that, we'll get the settler. Yes, right there. Do you guys make a profit from the company, or just enough to cover co costs? I can answer that. Uh, from selling merch, we make a tiny profit. Um, from selling merch, I would say each of us makes probably... I don't know, depends on a really good month. Like on a so like on an average month, I would say right now, we only just recently started launching out the merch. Um, we probably make about 300 bucks each from doing the comedy button. You know, which isn't bad by any means. Um, we, if we started making more money, we'd like to dedicate a lot more time to it. That's the thing we're finding is that it's really hard to justify the amount of time that it would take to do a lot of the things we want to do because of the expectations of work and to our loved ones to be like, why are you spending so much time with this? And, but if it's like, if we're making money at it, we can be like, look, we're, this is like a real thing. And then it's like girlfriends, fiancés, wives, families, they start to be like, okay, so now I kind of see why you're unavailable a lot of times and stuff. I'm not saying that's the only reason, but, and yeah, I mean, if I could turn the comedy button into a full-time job, that would be great. Um, actually, I haven't collected any money from the comedy button. There's money sitting for me in an account that I have never gotten because it is there for, uh, you know, it'd fuck up my unemployment. So I'm not technically an employee of the comedy button yet. Horseman! Da -da 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 Oh, I'm going to pay taxes on it. It's just when I decide to pay taxes on it. Um, I'm going to put walls around you. You're too vulnerable to mother. Um, when I put pay taxes on it, it's going to be at the end of the year when I take all the money at once. Our apologies. He's mad that we settled so close to him. But what were we going to do? Not settle this? Fuck off. This is going to be our little triangle. So I think Max tried to do that, but there wasn't money to be made in it. It wasn't as much that he got bored and started doing destructoid. It was that he couldn't make enough money to afford things like health care and other things. So it's tough to make it a full-time gig. It really is. If someone were to give us that $100,000 thing, though, like a crazy rich person, it'd be funny if they were like, you got to move back to the Bay Area because I might be able to justify it that to my girlfriend at that point. So...
We still haven't made a religion. Oh man, Hiawatha has a bigger armor, two other people have a bigger, Suleiman has a slightly bigger armor. Alright. Is that a Patreon goal? Yeah, it is. There's like a thing that's like $100,000 a month, and it's like, we'll do whatever you want. <laughs> so if someone were to back us at that level for even just one month, we told them we'd basically do whatever they wanted, barring uh, grossness and or... Uh, you know, the illegality. I'm not secretly hoping that. I mean, I would love to move back to the Bay Area in some ways, but my girlfriend's here and it'd be really hard. Machine Gun Funk 97, is this guy even good at Civ? Uh, I don't know, maybe not. Probably not that good at Civ. Um, I'm just... The guy who likes to play it. If that's a problem, you're welcome to leave. Most of us are just hanging out here talking, having a good time. I'm not doing safe for work porn. No porn. negative one happiness let's do well, let's do a market we're low on gold ah you're surrounding me up here you asshole He just denied me that citrus, that beautiful citrus. Uh, who's going to encroach on that iron first? I just want to buy that iron tile. We're running out of money. Why are we losing so much? Well, as most people know, love and spent on unit maintenance, building maintenance. As most people know, scurvy can actually be warded off fairly easily. Um, you can ward off scurvy even by eating like things like spinach and stuff has enough vitamin C usually. So. Like, I had a friend who would have gotten scurvy had he not, uh, had he not been, uh, drinking Mountain Dew all the time, and that actually staved off scurvy for him. Okay, sorry, just got distracted for a second answering uh, some questions. Mountain Dew, the savior. <laughs> What's your strategy for this game? Machine Gun Funk. Uh, right now, you know, actually, I haven't really. Sometimes I don't think enough for the future in Civ, which is probably not the best way to play Civ, obviously. Um, I'm kind of role playing a little bit, so I'm playing a modded civilization of high elves. 
And in my opinion, high elves are two things. One, they're militaristic, incredibly defensive, and two, they're very religious. So I'm trying to build, and they're like an incredible bashing of culture. So I'm trying to technically go through a culture victory. I built up some military units a little bit early on because when I saw I was surrounded up here and over here, I started to feel a little threatened because I know the AI likes to make war with people that are around them. So I'm trying to build up culture, keep myself a little bit stable, st stabilize myself financially right now. But I want to build up culture and religion and kind of just build enough defenses that I can turtle. Dragons, eggs. Uh, how do you feel about Destiny? Eh. I mean, I haven't read the reviews, but like my ballpark score that I would have given it so far is pretty similar to the scores I've been seeing it getting. I don't feel like it makes loot feel very rewarding, which is like important in a loot game. I don't feel like fighting the enemies feels very good. The missions aren't very fun to the point where I want to repeat them. Yeah, right now I want to connect all my land, get trade routes established, you know, roads between them all. And then once I have that, it'll be more about, uh, you know, building up defensive lines, not overdoing how much military units I have in any one point in time. Yeah, Sam, right there with you, Dragon Eggs. I love border Borderlands. Borderlands enemies, I feel like, are a lot more varied than they are. It gets closer to like, you know, Diablo has a lot more variation in the enemies. I feel Borderlands does too. Destiny's a lot of the same. Um, and I feel like the humor is not there, which is really important. Like, Borderlands story may have been nonsensical, but it had a lot of really great humor to rope you in. Destiny tries to take itself really seriously, but it's like fucking, you can't even understand what the fuck's going on, so it's just more annoying than anything. Wow. So you want wine from me. You'll give me two iron, two horses, and a gold per turn, just for one wine? I will accept that, even if that will bring down my unhappiness a little bit. Thank you. Man, can anyone buy that tile yet? I just need to be united right there. Hi, Watha. I will definitely be friends with you, considering you're the biggest fucking... His people really want wine. That fire water. Yeah, elves make the best wine. That's true. Open borders, huh? Can you give us cotton? Okay. We'll do a borders, fuck it. Maybe he's gonna go make war on someone that's near me. And he needs to get through me. A setup list? Establish a trade route. So if we do that, we'll get food per turn. If we go to Bursa, We'll get five gold per turn, five science, but we'll give, they'll also get gold in science. If we do Singapore, it'll just be exchange of gold. Let's do Bursa for now, it's fine. I want more cargo ships.